This is the Night Wolf howling at you. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Masters of the Universe V Friends crossover package with Skeletor. On the front, we see Skilled Skeleton with Skeletor. On the back, we see them combined into one. This apparently does not happen with the figures, though. Surprisingly, we get a little bit of information about them on the back. The evil Lord of Destruction wields the darkest power in the universe, Havoc Magic. Will it corrupt Skilled Skeleton and turn him into Skeletor's merciless minion? Skilled Skeleton. This bony bro radiates the power of friendship. But can he really help Skeletor change his ways and become a leader for good? All right, let's try opening this thing. It's got a little slider. Oh, I've got it backwards. So I do like this bit of artwork here. That looks pretty nice. He's got a specially designed. Oh, yeah, uh, he's got a little pendant on. And now if we turn it around, we get to see them in all their glory. There's also a little, little bit of artwork up here to go with it, too. So we can pull these guys out. And we have a nice image of Snake Mountain in the background. We've got Castle Grayskull over there. And a tree over there. I actually do like this box. I think it's pretty well made. Um, if these things go back in there, fine. There's, this would be a nice way to display this. Although it does take up a lot of room, which is the only sad part. And here we have the actual figures. They did do a nice little bit of artwork around the package to make it look a little bit more interesting. And we've got our two figures here. The Skeletor is, of course, based on the cartoon version, except for they did a little bit of that more um, glossy kind of uh, plastic paint job on at least his equipment to give it that cartoony look to it. I'm not sure who to deal with first. I just noticed he's got the hands designed to hold a heart in the air. Oh my God. Or damned if not to destroy the uh, or the um, tray there for future, uh, you know, because I want to be able to put it back in the other thing. 
So let's take a look at Skeletor first and foremost. He's got the uh, V Friends uh, logo on a little bone cross thingy like what he wears there. It is in a little plastic thing and uh, rubber band into place. Maybe. Uh, so we will take that off. We will rush through the articulation on the Skeletor since, you know, we've already reviewed Cartoon Skeletor once already. So heads on a uh, ball joint and can look around, up, down, spin. Is there a hinge under there? There, yeah, it's got that little bit of a hinge down there too. So it's a ball joint and a, well, it's a double ball joint with a, enough room to move around. Arm goes up, arm goes down, arm spins. It's hindered by the uh, harness. We got the hinge at the elbow. This is very stiff and it can of course spin because it's got a peg to hold it in place. Hands got a peg that spins and the in and out hinge as well. We can spin him. <laughs> he does a lot of spinning. He needs a spin class. Sorry. He spins around at the waist. Ouch. He can kick up yay far. He can kick back yay far. He can kick out like that. Wah! He's of course got the... Holy shit! Well, that sucks. Unreal. I wonder if I can get a replacement. That should not have broken like that that easily. Well, that sucks. He's got the uh, boot cut and he's got the ankle articulation. And of course you can spin the ankle as well because it does look like the plastic is glossy itself and not just a coating. That is so disheartening. Um, I wonder if I can get a second cartoon Skeletor and just replace the actual leg itself on there. Or again, maybe, maybe. God, that's terrible. Anyway, he comes with uh, different face plates. We've got his standard one. We've got an open, I want to say, I wanted to say surprised face, but kind of looks like a happy laughing face kind of when I look at it. This of course can be swapped out. I kind of wish they had just gone ahead and done this with the regular cartoon Skeletor instead of giving us the mask's power, to be perfectly honest. <clears throat> and we've got his dopey looking grinning face. And we can put the necklace back on him. So, hand-wise, assuming this doesn't break too, he's got the kind of surfer piece hand thing going on. Surf's up, bro! Wait. Surf's up, bro! <laughs> I don't know what the hell that voice was. I cannot do Skeletor. The real question is... So we got his two modified grabby hands here for uh, doing the heart thing. Can he actually do that though? Hold on. You gotta go like this, right? Oh, you 
can kind of do it upside down. Although to me, it looks like he's getting ready to grab a pair of tits. Yeah, okay, so it sounds like that. Well, you can kind of do it like this, too. Anyway. His power sword and Havoc staff are both in that same plastic, and it is still just the cartoon ones. Let's go ahead and get Skeletor's broken leg and his extra hands out of the way. As we take a look at Skilled Skeleton, uh, he is extremely heavy. He does have foot pegs though, so. And you can always stick him on the same stand as Skeletor. The head pops off easily enough. I'm pretty sure that the hood is glued on. But as I move it around, it does appear that actually maybe it's not. And I think if we heated this up, we could possibly even get the skeleton head out of there. Mm. Oh yeah, we did it. <sighs> A little bit of paint on there apparently. Maybe this is painted. Huh. So. I've been assuming that this is actually in the plastic. All the sparkly glossy stuff, but you know, if you look here, it did come off with the skeleton head. You can also take the little Skeletor harness off there. There he is without any of that extra equipment. So let's go ahead and take a look at him. So he's got a ball joint. Head spins around quite a bit, especially without the hood on there. And falls off. It's not a very sturdy ball joint. There is a hinge on the arm and a swivel. So you can hinge it up and down a little bit and spin it a little bit. There is no elbow articulation. However, there is wrist articulation here. Just a spin and a hinge. He does have a swivel at the torso. He can kick up yay far and he can kick back yay far. You can even kick out a little bit, and this looks really ridiculous. And there is a hinge at the ankle. And you can spin it as well. I never thought to think about it, but I wonder if this thing glows in the dark. Oh. 
He does come with extra hands. So he's got what would be a gripping hands, but it doesn't look like they can grip anything. He has a pair of slappy hands. And he has two surfer hands. Peace out, dude. Wow, that's a lot easier to put in there than it was to take it out. Oh, let's find his original hands. So at best, I am thinking, mm, good God, I cannot get the hand back in there. Mm. Maybe he can grip the end. Nope. Thought maybe that little hand could hold the end of the power sword. Can't hold any of it. So anyway, This is just kind of a cute little product for the Masters of the Universe stuff. Uh, the Skeletor head with the different heads is nice. Though I will say, again, I think they should have done this with the cartoon Skeletor. But gave us like, you know, the more angry faces and such that he needs. Now, the question is, was it worth the money we paid for it? I'm thinking not really. Especially since Skeletor's leg broke. I really hope they can replace that. If not, I will have to probably go with a cartoon Skeletor and just swap out the legs. They should be the same color, I hope. Um, he does come with a bunch of goofy added bits. I don't mind the peace hand, the heart hands. Ultimately, just kind of seem pointless. I guess... I mean, at best, you can have him do it like that. But I think this is another one of those sets where it'll most likely just be displayed in the box and not actually displayed out. I'm not entirely sure what the best way to do that with my setup is right now. Hell, I'm not even sure I'm gonna put the attorney in place. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, fair warning, if you did get one and you haven't opened it yet, probably would consider soaking Skeletor in hot water before trying to move his leg. Anyway, peace and love. There is also a mini comic that came with this that I kind of forgot about. Called Friendship is Havoc. It's actually a pretty long comic, to be honest. We see uh, Skeletor getting mad at his uh, minions, complaining about evil Lin, spells being too weak, uh, making fun of Merman's corncob sword, which is what everybody does, and Beastman being more muscle and fur than brains. He kicks them all out, and he decides that he is going to go ahead and summon a doppelganger to help him fight He-Man. And what comes out is the little skilled skeleton. Very confusing to Skeletor. And they talk and Skeletor explains He-Man to Skilled Skeleton and Skilled Skeletor believes He-Man to be a bully and that they will fight together to defeat He-Man. But first, Skilled Skeleton makes uh, Skeletor apologize to his minions which is laughable. And when uh, the minions do not accept the apology immediately, 
he transforms into a monstrous version of himself, which honestly looks really cool and I kind of would rather have that figure than the one we got. Same goes with Evil Lynn and Merman. And then when He-Man goes to uh, meet up with Skeletor, or I should say when Skeletor goes to meet up with He-Man, Evil Lynn attacks and freezes him in place, paralyzes him. You see Beastman use his whip to hold He-Man. And uh, let's just say it makes it look like uh, Merman is getting ready to cornhole He-Man with his corn cop sword. But finally, Skeletor shows up and grabs the power sword from him and his battle is over. But it is ended with, as it says, the power friendship and Skeletor apologizes for being a jerk, which causes confusion to everybody. And of course, Skilled Skeleton, who was pushing the whole friendship angle, gets very mad, transforms, and chases off a Skeletor. The funny thing is, uh, the characters, I think all three of the minions at one point had <laughs> did say that uh, the little guy freaks them out, which I can believe. So it's kind of a cute comic, although... It's got kind of a weird art style um, in a lot of cases. And I wonder if that's just to reference the V-Friends a bit. I don't know much about them. But I kind of wonder if, if they're just switching up artists now. Because the comics that we've seen preview-wise for Eternia and for Rock Dun, Rockgar? Rock, oh, man. Both look like they have some really meh, questionable artwork. Anyway, that's it for the mini comic. Mm -hmm.